Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia. Today we are going to be making gloves and rosemary butter for hair growth. Please subscribe to my channel. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. So I'm going to be adding one spoon of cloves into a blender and then one spoon of rosemary leaves. I used dried rosemary leaves. If you have fresh ones, they all work the same. And then one cup of olive oil. You can use any oil that works best for you. It could be coconut oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil, and then I'm going to blend it. So after blending it, I'm going to double boil it as you're going to be seeing in the video. Cloves contain high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of your hair. They can also be used for protecting the scalp from dandruff, so which is actually a major cause of weak and thin hair. So that is how our oil looks. And then I'm going to be adding two spoons of shea butter. You can use any butter. It could be mango butter, avocado butter. Use any butter that works best for you. And then double boil. To make sure that everything infuses and the shea butter melts in the oil. So take your time to double boil. So cloves also contain anti-inflammatory agents which further help in hair thickening. Uh, rosemary helps in regrowth, hair regrowth, increases hair volume, adds shine to your hair. It also stimulates hair growth, treats dandruff and strengthens your hair follicles. So after I let it cool and then I strained it out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do DIY natural hair and skin care remedies using natural ingredients. So after straining, look at my oil. That is how the oil looks like. It looks so good. So take your time straining to make sure that there are no residues in your oil. Look at the oil. So I covered it and then I placed it in a freezer for 20 minutes. That is how it looks after 20 minutes. So I used a balloon whisk to beat the butter and I also used an egg beater as well. If you have a mixer, even better but if you don't have it a balloon whisk can do as well as you can see i'm using a balloon whisk so take your time to beat that butter so if you're the type of person that faces hair thinning hair fall hair breakage this butter is going to help you a lot so you can see how the butter looks right now so i'm going to be adding peppermint essential oil if you have any essential oil lavender tea tree you can use that as well i used i also added two spoons of jamaican black castor oil so jamaican black castor oil helps to moisturize your hair helps to thicken strengthen and also helps in rapid hair growth it increases blood flow to the scalp it supplies nutrients to the hair follicles which boosts hair growth it stops hair shedding hair dryness itchy scalp and breakage like i told you if you're experiencing any scalp conditions this hair butter is for you so after i covered the butter again and placed it into a freezer for more 20 minutes and that is how it looks look at the slip ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> my butter looks so good look at the slip 
so that is basically it guys my hair butter is done so i went ahead and transferred it into my containers this hair butter will last you for four to six months keep it in a cool place so you can use this butter as a pre-shampoo simply apply the butter cover your hair for 45 to 1 hour and then wash it out you can use this as um to seal in moisture like all an overnight hair growth treatment so spray your hair growth spray into your hair and apply the butter to seal in the moisture if you like this video please subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Bye!